Johnny Grissom is dead. Dead at the hands of his friend Gary during a dangerous bout of speeding. No matter though, as Johnny isn't the type to stay dead. Based off the award-winning horror novel by Gregory Lamberson, Johnny Grissom is a tongue-in-cheek and violent horror movie about revenge from beyond the grave. You see, while Johnny's life wasn't exactly great before he died, he still didn't actually want to die. He had a girlfriend, loved a bit of heavy metal, and was every bit of teenage rebel as he could possibly be. Back from the dead, Johnny has one goal now, to take revenge on Gary and his other friends who helped cover up his murder. <laughs> Johnny Gruesome is a hit and miss horror. When it hits, it is nasty and entertaining. When it misses, it bores and comes across awkward. The story is decent and moves at a pace that keeps things fresh. We've barely gotten to know Johnny when he is killed off. The situation at least with death is probably the biggest overreaction ever, but it is explained away later in the film in a way that makes sense. With Johnny dead, his best friend Eric takes over as lead. His character is the most well-rounded in the movie and he bitterly regrets his part in covering up Johnny's death. It is Eric that begins to realise that Johnny is back as the body count rises. Gruesome doesn't have much in the way of forgiveness in him, so his victims all suffer painful and violent deaths at his hands. The effects on these and Johnny are mixed. Some are perfectly serviceable while others highlight the low-budget nature of the film. Perhaps the most surprising thing about Johnny though is that he just isn't a sympathetic character, something that has hammered home in the final third. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense and changes the tone of the movie quite a bit. The longer it goes on, the more you'll feel yourself detaching from the enjoyment of it. It leads to a final showdown between Johnny and Eric that totally fails to capture the imagination. It is hard to care who comes out alive, or in Johnny's case, still dead. The early promise is gone. By the end, and the final feeling you're left with is one of disappointment. It is a run-of-the-mill revenge horror that lacks a memorable villain or characters to get behind.